guys, it's Rachel here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my March TBR. I think for the time being I'm going to keep doing TBR videos because honestly these are the kind of videos that I like to watch and I'm hoping that maybe you guys like to watch them as well. So without further ado let's just get into the books that I plan on reading this month. So the first three books I want to talk about are actually books that I picked out of my TBR jar and this is essentially a jar full of post-it notes that I made recently and I just wrote names of most of the books that I physically own on post-it notes and place them in this jar. I mainly made this jar because I had no idea how to decide what to read next so I thought that I might as well just leave it to chance. So yeah three of the books that I plan on reading this month came from this TBR jar and the first book that I picked out of my TBR jar is Winter Girls by Lori Halls Anderson. I know that she is very famous for writing the novel Speak which is a novel that I actually own but I haven't read yet because I haven't picked it out of my TBR jar yet but I'm definitely looking forward to picking up her works. So this novel centers around Leah and Cassie. They are best friends, winter girls, frozen and fragile bodies, competitors in a deadly contest to see who can be the thinnest. But then Cassie suffers the ultimate loss, her life, and Leah is left behind, haunted by her friend's memory and feeling guilty for not being able to help save her. So this is going to be a very hard-hitting novel. I actually picked this up on a whim from Barnes & Noble, mainly because the cover of this is so stunning. I don't know how well you can see, but there's some holographic particles on the cover that is just simply gorgeous. And I have a feeling that this book is going to break my heart, but I am really looking forward to checking out out Anderson's works. The next book that I picked from my TBR jar is Seven Ways We Lie by Riley Redgate. This is actually a book that was a recommendation from Emma Books here on YouTube. I will link her channel below but she's one of the big booktubers. She has like over 150,000 subscribers and she was actually the first booktuber that I started following. So I'm just gonna read you the plot that's on the back. It says Paloma High School is ordinary by anyone's standards. It's got the same clicks, the same prejudices, the same suspect cat cafeteria food. And like at every high school, each student has something to hide. From Kat, the thespian who conceals her trust issues on stage, to Valentine, the neurotic genius who's planted the seed of a school scandal. When the scandal bubbles over and rumors of a teacher-student affair surface, everyone starts hunting for someone to blame. For the seven unlikely allies, at the heart of it all, their ordinary seeming lives result in extraordinary change. So yeah, I just heard really good things about this book. And I just think it's interesting that I think there's seven main characters and they all seem to kind of represent one of the seven deadly sins. So I'm just interested to see how that connects with the plot of this book. And the last of my TBR jar picks is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I am so excited to check out this book because I already know that I love Marissa Meyer's works. I read the entirety of the Lunar Chronicles back in December and I just simply adored them. So I know that I'm going to adore this one as well. All I really know about this book is that it centers around the Queen of Hearts and I think it's kind of a retelling of Alice in Wonderland but it is also telling the backstory of the Queen of Hearts and how she became the way that she is in Alice in Wonderland. And I think for this one I'm actually going to check out the audiobook because the actress who narrates all of Marissa Meyer's books is just so great and she just has a way of telling these stories and I really enjoyed my experience listening to the Lunar Chronicles on audio so I think I'm gonna go with that route as well for reading this book. The next book on my TBR list is a book that I am so excited to get to and that is Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo. So this is actually a book two of the Grisha trilogy or the Shadow and Bone trilogy by Leigh Bardugo and this past month of February I read Shadow and Bone and I really enjoyed it. I gave it a very enthusiastic four stars if you want to hear more of my specific thoughts on that book, I will link my February mid-month wrap-up down below. Yeah, I'm just really excited to see where the story goes. I know quite a few people don't really like this series in general, but also I've heard a lot of people saying that Shadow and Bone is a really good book, but the series kind of takes a turn for the worse in Siege and Storm and then Ruin and Rising, which is the last book of the trilogy. So really I'm just interested to see what I think of this book. The next book that I'm planning to read in the month of March is More Than We Can Tell by Bridget Kemmerer. So this is actually the companion novel to Letters to the Lost, which is a book that I read this past month, and I gave a full five stars, and so I knew that I immediately needed to pick up the companion novel. So this story centers around Rev, who is a pretty prominent character in Letters to the Lost. He is actually the best friend 
husband of Declan, who is one of the main characters from the previous book. And so it's essentially following Rev and this other character named Emma, and I'm sure they fall in love with each other. And I am just so excited to see where this book goes, because Letters of the Lost was just such a phenomenal book, and I just can't wait to get back into this world with these characters. The next book that I'm super excited to get to in the month of March is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. This is the next installment of the Throne of Glass series. So for those of you who may not know, I am actually a part of a buddy read with some friends that I've made on book Twitter, and we are reading a book from this series each month. So in January, we read The Assassin's Blade, which is actually a bind up of prequel novellas to the Throne of Glass series. And then in the month of February, we read Throne of Glass, which I really enjoyed. I gave four stars. I also did a complete reading vlog dedicated just to Throne of Glass. So I will definitely link that down below if you guys are interested to hear all of my thoughts on that book. And I am planning to continue documenting my experience reading this book. So there definitely will be a reading vlog for this book as well. I feel like Throne of Glass was just the tip of the iceberg for this series and for these characters and their storylines. So yeah, I'm just super excited to see how this all plays out. And the last book that I am so stoked to get to is Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. This is the second and final installment in the Strange the Dreamer duology. I read Strange the Dreamer this past month and I really, really enjoyed it. Lainey Taylor's prose is just so gorgeous. And Strange the Dreamer was unlike anything I've ever read. I feel like these characters and their stories are just something that is going to stick with me for years to come. And I'm very interested to see how the story will play out from here because the ending of Strange the Dreamer was kind of a cliffhanger and it was kind of heartbreaking and kind of insane and yeah it was just nuts. So I'm super excited to see where these characters go from here. I'm also just interested to see which book I end up liking more in this series because I feel like there's a divide of people that I follow at least on booktube of whether they like the first book better than the second book but judging from some people's reviews that I trust I probably will end up liking Muse of Nightmares better because it sounds like there's more action in this book and not as much slow exposition. That was my main thing with Strange the Dreamer is that it took me about 100 pages or so to really get into the story simply because in that first part of the book I was just so focused on fully comprehending what was going on that I just couldn't really enjoy it until I got to about page 100. I'm thinking that I may end up liking Muse of Nightmares better simply because I won't have to read through all of that exposition. But yeah, we will just have to wait and see. So that is it for my planned March TBR. I tend to read a lot more books per month than what is on my planned TBR, but a lot of those extra books depends on my mood at the time. I definitely want to get to reading more NetGalley arcs because in February I didn't really read any ebooks in general because the booktube games was so focused on pages that you read and it's just a lot harder to keep track of pages when you're reading on a Kindle. So I mainly stuck with physical books during the month of February, but now that the booktube games is over, I definitely want to get back to my NetGalley arcs. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you would also consider subscribing. Don't forget to press that notification bell button below so that you will be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!